Okay, so I should probably explain how the BFG works. I've forgotten the sound. How the BFG works in this game. So you have to charge it up, and it does more damage the more it's charged, but it overloads when you... That's it. If you don't shoot it, and then it, it's not the same as the BFG from o OG do. coming, don't you? So I fucked up, and I fucked up again, but um... There's still a spitter out there somewhere. I didn't want to fight two vagaries at once. Two more levels left, I think. Yeah, they knew. They knew you'd fu fuck that. I ain't fighting one of them. Fucking horrible things. Two levels left. Wait. Oh shit, this might actually... No, the last level's Hellmouth, isn't it? So you've made it this far. Hi! So, hi. Medkits are up there. Nice. Anyway, um, our good friend Petruk has gone a bit <laughs> deep voiced. Fancies himself a bit of Frank. Welcome. Only the lamp. I can't even do that. Hello. Hi. Hey, Doom. You've gone a bit quaky in your Doom. I don't remember where the hidden thing is, by the way. So, you're not going to be seeing the special room. Mother of fucking God. Mother of God. to do this but I've got I've got one soul cube charge you need to hit him three times this is the antechamber of heroes apparently and what heroes they were setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts these tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belonged to a civilization that existed millennia ago. 
<laughs> no. Hello? There is a hidden room here again. Like there, there were there are quite a few hidden rooms in this game. There was one in Hell that I, I missed, and I knew I missed it, but I just wanted to get out of Hell. Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh Jesus fuck. Okay, three times with the soul cube, right? Probably gonna get rid of these cavern saves. Um, don't need them. Hello? No, that's fine. Uh, you do you, mate. It's cool. Do get to see the Doom guy speak though for a brief second. I don't remember where the hidden room is. I'm so sorry. Bless you. Bunny. That was wrong, wrong way. So, slow down. That's the end boss. Hit him three times with the soul cube. Easy, right? Here it is. Unfortunately, we didn't get all the PDAs, but uh, here's the id software. PDA. <laughs> Mum, you played that far to read this. I do genuinely feel like showing off all of these. Found some cheat codes. I have one tattooed on my wrist.
And uh, that's it. Of course, it's never as simple as destroy the hellhound. Uh, the hellhound. The hellhole. We've actually dropped down to 30 FPS here, which is a bit. Uh, anyway, we already kind of had a spoiler for who we're about to meet, but it's been a while since I've done this, so it might take me a few tries. One line of the game. Watch his mouth. <laughs> oh, he's a big boy. He's the biggest, baddest boy there ever did see. Jesus fuck. Save it, just in case I fuck this last one up. Turned around, so we're gonna turn around. It's a quick time event boss, essentially, but I don't care. Jesus. Take that, fucker! Oh god. I targeted the wrong one. That's bad. times I have to do this. Six? Running out of BFG ammo. I think one of them missed and took out one of the... Uh... Right, he's just hit that rock there instead of me, so... Please, this time, die! There we go! Ooh, right in the noggin.
Do you like how it's the only time Doom Guy showed any emotion in the game? It's when he saw the, the Cyber Demon and he just cacks it. I Recon love this game. Solo, this is Echo One. Give me a visual status. Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. We've got massive damage all over the base. This place looks like hell. I've got life signs on the bio scanner. Eyes sharp. Echo One, we've got a survivor, a Marine. Corporal, you hear me? You all right? Can you hear me? Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. Prepare for medevac. Copy that. Have you located Counselor Swan? Yes, sir. He's dead. Roger, Recon One. What about Dr. Petruger? He's nowhere to be found, sir. So that was one of my favourite games of all time. I've been wanting to do it on my channel pretty much since I started the channel. There are two more games the Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil and The Lost Missions. My brother lent me his copy of Resurrection of Evil when it came out. Uh, it's got some great voice actors in it, by the way. But, uh, um, I couldn't get out past the first level. It, you have to grab the imp's fireballs with this gravity gun. It didn't didn't play like Doom for me. I'm sure you're bitch that I saved as much as I did, but uh, I don't care. One of my favorite games of all time. I've wanted to do it on the channel for a very long time. I've owned this version for a long time, and uh, obviously, I own the original release. It's on my shelf. Uh, grew up with, well, grew up with Wolf 3D. Well, I actually grew up with Castle Wolfenstein, the old uh, 2D, uh, yeah. Uh, but I um, used to play Doom in, in, I was trying, used to try and look around the corners, even though it was a first, by like looking at the corner of the screen when I was a wee, a wee baron. But uh, yeah, that was Doom 3 on uh, Veteran, I think we played it on, because it wouldn't let us play on Nightmare. But you know, now I've done it, it's so stressful, why would I go back and play it on Nightmare? Um, I did play it on Nightmare on the original version, and it is a lot more stressful. You have the Soul Cube from the start, but uh, your health constantly drains down to, I think it's 25, and they get rid of all med kits in the game. So the, the med stations are still there. Uh, but the med kits are gone, and I don't think the med stations are uh, fully stocked. But even if they are, you can't heal up anyway, and you will always drain down to 25 health, which is, uh, on that difficulty, I think you get like a 100% damage reduction that you deal, and they get a 300% damage boost or something stupid like that. It's ridiculous. Um, I can't imagine me doing it. And also, um, you know, beat this in 10 hours. I, I've done it. It's just like I could. This could have been a ten-hour run if I stopped being such a little coward. But I'm a coward. This is one of the games that freaks me out. Project Zero is another one. Resident Evil, not so much. But uh, but that I think Resident Evil is what we did for Halloween last year. But uh, yeah, so much shorter episode there. But uh, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you bothered to watch, uh, cheers. <laughs>